guys, this is Sibylla Mirage. Welcome back to my new channel. I know it's been a while since we saw each other, but first, some of you may know, I got my tattoo. Then my parents came to visit from New York. Then I got my lips done and they were healing. And only yesterday I got my fresh set of nails. And because we're talking about high-end stuff, nails are very important. Nails are very important for anybody. So I couldn't film with chip nails. That is how little it takes to disrupt my schedule. But it's only because I just want to look good for you, good for you, uh-uh, uh-uh. And because I have to make it up to you somehow, I am prepared with an unboxing. This is not the only thing I have to unbox for you, but today I'm only going to give you one because I got the most requests that I've got for a review was um was hammered gold review so today i have this little unboxing of an item that is very hard to come by right now but um i was very fortunate to find it on their website because i stock their website like a hawk and um fortune just smiles at me no i was born wearing pants No, I was born wearing a shirt, but why would I be wearing a shirt? I'm a girl. So I'm going to quickly unbox this for you and then I'm going to do a review um, of the hammered gold. I don't have a lot to say, but Johnny's not. But what I'm going to say is going to help you make your decision because that's what I'm here for. So let's see. Of course I already opened it, but oh, I have so many things to say about this little thing. I bought it before in the past, but then I exchanged it for a different size. I, um, let me show you. So, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <sighs> it makes me so happy. This is the Sweet Alhambra in hammered rose gold. The reason it's so hard to find it's because everybody wants hammered gold because it's so carefree. You can sleep in it, you can shower in it, and um, the chain, even though it's very dainty, it's very small. I'm wearing all rose gold today. I'm wearing rose gold everything, just to match this little guy because I'm about to put it on. So this chain is very durable because I have the same necklace in carnelian and I layered that necklace and I slept in it and I showered in it a few times because carnelian is okay, but just don't overdo it. I don't suggest you shower in it. Okay, don't shower with carnelian on because I don't wanna be guilty for you ruining your precious stone. But I do sometimes because when I'm in a hotel or somewhere traveling, I don't wanna take it off and put it somewhere and then forget or even in a safe. So I wear it and then I just use mild face soap here on my neck and on my chest. And that's how I shower with it, but don't do it. Anyway, it looks great on everybody. If you have a thicker neck, you need to extend it because it's kind of short, but I like to wear it on a shorter setting. So it's like kind of like a choker, but very feminine looking choker. And the chain is very shiny. So you, it's very noticeable. Let me try and put this on with my long nails and I will be right back. Two hours later. Okay, I'm back. So I also had a question about Guilloche line, but I do not have Guilloche. Now it's harder to find, but when I was looking for my tan motif in hammered um, rose gold, I was offered Guilloche numerous times and I did not even try it on. And I'm gonna tell you why. It is very personal. So for example, for me, it reminds me of my grandma's jewelry or a brooch or something she used to have. It's very old lady looking to me. And Chanel number no. five perfume reminds me of my grandmother's perfume. And that's why I'm obsessed with Chanel number no. five. But a piece of jewelry that looks like an old brooch, I would never put on my body. It's kind of hypocritical of me, but take it with a grain of salt. It's personal. I just don't like anything that looks that old tiny. You know what I mean? So Guilloche line is just not for me. Plus it scratches, it scratches so bad. Like I understand earrings or a necklace when you don't layer it, but for a bracelet, I would probably lose my mind. Like I'm not careful with my things. I don't care. I shower with, as you can tell. And, um, and I don't need more stress in my life. And I did not know that Guilloche scratches that much when I was offered it, but I still rejected it. I'm gonna quickly talk about this unboxing 
and then I'm gonna jump into the review and we'll be done with this video because I want to get it out for you very quickly. I'm gonna edit it tonight and I'm gonna post it tomorrow morning, hopefully. If I'm in the right mood because I need to be relaxed when I'm editing. Where's my puppy? So this necklace is very dainty, it is very delicate, and it is literally sweet. And because it was originally designed for kids, it makes it that much more sweet or sweeter. It makes it that much more sweeter, right? I love dainty chains around my neck. I am obsessed with a woman's neck. It's so sensual and I feel like it should be portrayed that way through your style. Regardless of your present style, try it. And you will be amazed at the way it will transform your attitude, the way you feel, your body line, just the way you carry yourself. Um, yeah, that's what it does to me. A piece of jewelry transforms the way I carry myself. I was into chokers and collars when I was a teenager. Like, I'm not kidding. I mean, maybe you can tell that I'm a little... <laughs> but now I'm more into exploring my femininity. I mean, I'm still into cuffs. You probably know. But um, I can't completely let go of my inner troublemaker child. This necklace is also extremely sexy. It is so hot to me. I don't know why, but try it. Go out on a date and wear this necklace. Wear your chunky ones with your girlfriends, but when you want a guy to like you, but also know your audience because you need a masculine dominant guy to like delicate stuff around your neck. I feel like it's a dating video you're welcome. I mean, what are you doing sitting here watching me? Go with your guy. Oh, you don't have one? So listen to me. No pun intended. Or pun intended. Whichever you prefer. Just think damsel in distress. It will work on strong men. So just play around, guys you like. And um, yeah, these little things will go a long way. <laughs> okay, now let's review the hammered gold collection, right? Collection, style, what is it? I don't know, who knows? I have four pieces now, let me show them to you. This is number one, well number four. My very first one was, I don't know, people tell me that I'm out of focus, I know, I know, um, but I'm gonna film close up. <music> gold hammered yellow gold vintage alhambra pendant i don't know if it says hammered yellow gold i think it just says hammered gold vintage alhambra pendant then the earrings i'm wearing right now and that was my third piece i love these earrings so much and i think that they will match this even though the size is different but this is also hammered gold and there it's so pretty i can't i can't i'm so happy i have it so how i got it i was stalking the website and at some point it came in stock and I ordered one and it was still available. It still said add to bag. So they got a few pieces and that's how I got it. I was very happy that it was available online and I just ordered it. So this was the very first piece I got. And then this is my, oh my God, my pride and joy. I can't believe I'm talking like this about jewelry, but this is insane. This is so pretty. I love it so, so much. I want you to see it very well, but I'm gonna film a close-up anyway. So the reason why I like hammered gold, it's because it is very carefree. When somebody asks me, what should I get, hammered gold or mother of pearl? Of course, mother of pearl looks better. I'm not gonna lie, it looks better, it looks bigger, it looks huge. If I were to compare this to the same uh, vintage Alhambra pendant in Mother of Pearl, Mother of Pearl, because it reflects light so bright, it would look bigger. You will be more of a statement piece. I mean, of course, 
course you can wear it all the time every day what i wouldn't like about that pendant is that i would need to take it off all the time and my long nails make it difficult so i have a gray mother of pearl vintage alhambra pendant in rose gold and i love it so so much it's very different i don't see it on a lot of people but i don't wear it as much well i still wear it a lot but i put it on and then take it off and i never well i try not to sleep in it i like my jewelry to work for me if you're looking to get your very first piece of course wait until hammered gold is available or if it is available get it because it's i feel like you're gonna get so much more use out of it and then when you have like a basic collection when you have like either guilloche which is also carefree except it scratches or hammered gold you can add and you can play with your collection keep in mind that malachite if it touches your skin oils from your skin and acid from your sweat will make it darker it will not look as new as good as new and if it doesn't touch your skin and if it touches water or it's humid outside or any chemicals will make it more white and gray so i wouldn't get malachite unless i'm sure that i'm gonna wear it on top of something wear like a turtleneck dress like a ninja uh. pretty much you still have to work for it i don't understand things like that it pisses me off okay and the same with blue agate blue agate will change color if you have self tanner on I don't have self tanner on, but sometimes I put makeup because once a month I break out and I break out, well, not a lot, but I still put makeup on my chest, like right now. And I wouldn't be comfortable to wear blue agate or I wouldn't be comfortable to wear malachite, of course. And I wouldn't wear mother of pearl or gray mother of pearl. So this is the way to go if you put makeup on your chest, if you put highlighter or if you put oil, body oil, especially oil. If I were to go back in time, I would still get this as my first vintage Alhambra pendant. I would not get Mother of Pearl. I got the gray Mother of Pearl vintage Alhambra pendant after everything else. Like I first got the basics that I, but Mother of Pearl is a basic piece. It, it is an everyday piece and it is very durable. Don't get me wrong, but it's just not gonna withstand chemicals, heat, sweat, humidity, sun, in an excessive amount or in an excessive amount why didn't i write it down i love mother of pearl i think it looks prettier than this if you're just going for the look and you're gonna use it as a going out piece or you know that you can put it on in the morning and then remove it at night and not spray perfume on it and always keep it in mind and always be careful then get it because I am not like that. I am not OCD about my things. I am OCD when I'm buying my things, but once it's mine, I wanna use it and I want it to work for me. When I'm buying it, yes, I want it to be perfect because it's expensive and if anybody were to damage it or scratch it, it's gonna be me. Nobody can touch my things before I own them. Yes, I am OCD. <laughs> I hope this video helps you make up your mind. If it does, give it a like, comment down below, give me more requests. I'm gonna wrap it up, go at it, post it tomorrow, Wednesday. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you soon. Bye.